I got my internships, my very first internship especially, uh, by not taking no for an answer. I went to the recruiter every single time they were on campus and asked for a job. And the first seven times she said no, and on the eighth time she said maybe. My name is Mackinde Adiagbo, and I'm a software engineer at Pinterest. I think diversity is important in this industry because there are awesome software engineers everywhere in this country and they need the opportunities to learn and grow and access this industry. Throughout my career, I've been one of very few black engineers. And while you adjust to that over time, it's a very isolating experience. DevColor is a nonprofit organization that I started in mid-2015. We work with black software engineers in industry to help them set aggressive career goals and work with peer groups to achieve those goals. I started taking programming classes in high school, actually, I grew up in Kentucky, and then I went to MIT where I majored in computer science. I interned at Microsoft twice, and I interned at Apple once. The first two internships that I had were as a software engineering intern, where you're working alongside full-time engineers uh, building software that'll go live to millions of users. And then in the last internship, I tried out being a product manager. Uh, which is where you help define what the product is, what the user needs, and then work with engineers to get it built. The skills that I use on a daily basis are a cross-section of technical skills and um, sort of softer skills. And what I found is that as my career progressed, the shift comes from going from more raw technical skills to integrating more soft skills. I'd say the two biggest soft skills that are needed in a job like this are one, communication skills. Uh, you have a thoughts, you have opinions about what's best for the product or the company, and you need to be able to clearly articulate that to your peers so they understand you. Uh, but you also need a lot of empathy to be able to understand other people's opinions, where they're coming from, what their experiences are, and then with that, the team can get together and make the best decisions. So you play in your little sandbox, you develop stuff, and when you're ready, when you think it works, you deploy it out here, and then it's live and affecting real data. And you test it in your little safe space first. Here at Pinterest, the core language that we use for most of our engineering work is Python. Python is an industry standard language that lots of big companies use, uh, but it's also very approachable and easy to learn at the start. A lot of coding can actually be pretty simple. It's sort of like building larger and larger Lego sets where in high school I mastered the fundamental building blocks and over time I've learned to build larger and larger programs and applications with that knowledge. What I love about my career specifically is all the twists and turns that I've taken and how much opportunity there is. A lot of people in their careers will stay doing the same thing for 30, 40 years, but I feel like every few years in tech you have the opportunity to choose a new direction, either choose different technologies to learn, go into management versus becoming a technical expert, or just try something completely different, a new type of company. 